Could you bring me a drink? I'm thirsty. Oh. Thanks, darling. Huh? What the? What is this? Now you know I don't allow naked tumblers in the house. Yeah. Huh? 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 Oh! Agony! Oh! oh. oh. There we go. We got our little reference printed out. We got our shamelessly naked tumbler. Jeez. Do you have no shame? Cover that mess up. And we have our beautiful set of Poshka markers. Bought the whole set. Link in the description. It's really worth it. And these are the colors we're going to use. I've matched up sort of to our reference. Of course, you know, computers print out colors weird. Just make up your own thing. Listen, listen. All this is just a guide. Just use your imagination. Do your own thing. Whatever you're feeling, let's go for it. So my plan for looking at our reference is if you're going to take it and do it like this. You see, put the cactuses all around the top here. And then the bottom, I'm going to do the little step. Get away. The little woody black lines. Not fancy. It's not really that fancy. It's super simple. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do our colored areas. The last step will be to outline everything in black and do our little details. And that'll be fantastic. Start by shaking all these up. Shake it up really good. You know, I thought about it. Am I going to sketch it out with a pencil and nope? nope. I'm just going to go for it, I think. Should I draw the pots first or the thingies? Maybe I should draw the cactus first. Is that your final answer? I mean pots. All right, so I'm just going to start with the first pot right here in the middle, I guess. And then go from there. Listen, this is it. Nothing super complicated. I mean, you could sketch this out with a pencil if you wanted to first. Let's say for instance, you got this and it's not exactly straight, who cares? But you can push it, make it a little bigger, try to make it nice and neat. Look, that's plenty good enough right there. That's a really light looking on the camera. It's not really that light in person. So, and then you just, just color it in. These markers are so easy to use. If you haven't done anything with these markers, as a matter of fact, Hold on, let me show you something. My son, e hey, get out of the way. Eli, he did this SpongeBob with these markers right here. Free-handed, he didn't look at anything. He just did it right out of his mind. There's the flowers, the house, pineapple house, and yeah, he did it with those markers. And it looks really sweet to me. I love those markers. All right, so there's pot number one down, and I made it go to touch, be still. May it touch the bottom because I'm, as you see here, it's got the wood grain. I felt like that was a good spot to just move over here. I felt like that was a good spot to put that right there. Now I'm going to do the second flower pot. I got to remember to keep touching down here. I got it's hard to make stuff go down that far on that curve. And like I said, nobody's going to see, well, you are, I don't care, the shower curtain to compare and say, hey, that's the wrong color. Hey, you, you drew that wrong. What? Who cares? Listen, there's pot number two. What's the next color? Ooh, this one's gonna be pretty. It is like a coral peachy. I'm not gonna be able to do all my cactuses. This is, let's see. Let's get this straight here. Here we go. Let's do the bottom. Probably right about here. What do you think? Nope, it's a little off. So I'm just gonna round it down to here. Round, round it down to here. There we go. Now fill it in. I found the best way to fill it in is just kind of like do an outline. Let's straighten this bad boy up. All the way to the bottom, buddy. There you go. And then just all the way down. Sometimes you got to give a little tap, tap, tappy to make it. There we go. Oh, that's like butter now, baby. Oh, isn't that lovely? It sure is. There's... Pot number three. And I think there's a little one right here. We might as well put it. Oh, let's turn this bad boy sideways. Let's just try to keep this one tiny because I want to have the big cool stuff. I want to have room for all that. Dude, this color is so butter flowing. Oh, it feels so nice. I do have another one of these colors uh, on down the road on the other end, but we're not going to do that just yet because I want to work my way around just because I might not have enough room. Let's use this brown here. 
the next one goes about right like share I might have made that one a little large but it's fine can you see that are you focused on that get my top and my bottom close enough it's got a little rounded spot here don't you go moving on me and then here you notice oh you can't see because it's daggone blurry so i'm gonna back hey, up no, what in reverse tear what in reverse oh lord so if you notice i got my hand here and i'm resting this hand on it for steady pinstripers have a thing called a, a moab stick or a mall stick or i don't remember they got a stick that helps steady I always shake this under the table or something, somewhere you don't care about if it gets messed up. This has got something on it. Where's my tweezers? There's something up, this little hair sticking out. This making stuff, got two of them. Make little trails on there. You see where it's kind of messy? Right there, there's a little booger yeah. sticking out on it. That's no problem. We'll just clean that right out like it never happened. I hope that you are in focus enough because I am focusing on coloring and drawing and I can't look through the camera to do this one because I'm having to see what I'm doing from scratch because I did not lay out a plan ahead of time I just went for it you know what I'm saying sometimes you just gotta do that let's do a really close one right here i think i'm gonna do one and then have the brown one there i think uh, i think i'm good on my spacing uh, that kind of excites me there because i thought i was doing a horrendous job on my spacing i gotta shake this thing up a little bit yeah, you can tell if it ain't flowing or if it's leaving little and focus right there see how it's leaving a streaky little brrr. you can't see because my hand was in the way that shake it up that means it's not shaking up good enough okay i realize i'm just talking and drawing this is gonna be, maybe be a long video i hope not i might be able to cut some of this out but i know <sighs> breathe enjoy seeing this stuff just come to life out of nowhere there we go now let's color it let's do the top clean it up a little bit more there we go now we color it in that's the easy part and it's fun. One thing about coloring is to look more professional. Go Try to go in the same direction. You know, so that way if there is a pattern, it still looks cool and it looks like you did it on purpose. Focus. Okay, we got all of our boats done. All the way around. Oh, where are you? Keep going. There you are. It worked out perfectly all the way around it's crazy so now we're gonna go ahead and do this big guy in the middle here this is the greeny color that I got it really looks a lot more yellow I wish it was more mustardy green oh, that doesn't even make sense like Dijon mustard yeah that kind of mustard see I'm used to oh my gosh I dropped it yeah, old man brought oh there we are I'm used to eating the fancy, you know, Dijon mustard and stuff. So I feel like this will be a good angle. I'm just going to draw like my basic shape. I'll just go for it. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. There's one guy here. There's another one right here. And then, you know, just ram them down there. And that's it. I mean, now basically, just got to color all that real estate in. I feel like it's better and easier to color like this. I rest my hand down here. You gotta be careful. Don't put your hand in wet paint. You know what I'm saying? But like I said a minute ago, go in one direction. I mean, since this one's going this way, you could go this and kind of follow the contour. That way your strokes might make it look the right way. I feel like that might be cool. Give it some direction, not one direction. So you don't have to touch this part per se. Just get kind of close because you're going to be outlining all of this. Oh my gosh. I saw a piece of paint flick go out of that. Did you? There it is. It landed on my finger. What? That's why you shake these things. Oh, wait. Wait, you really should put the daggum lid on, man. What's wrong with you? Playing with fire here, buddy. Put the lid on. Shake it. Wow. Dangerous stuff. Listen, hey. Learn from my mistakes. Give a little bump, bump, bump. And then it flows like the sound of Capistrano. 
not really sure what that means. It's just in a movie. Hey, 10 points. If you can name that movie in the comments. I don't know what you get 10 points for, but you know, hey, they're yours. You can say you got it. I like doing it. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of the words. Words are hard sometimes. You feel me on that, dog? Can you tell? Oh, listen to that sound. To some people, it's extremely satisfying. To others, it is horrendous. Painful. Ooh, that's cool. There we go. Since I already have my pots, you know what? I can just go ahead and do the other guys, too, that are the same color. Wow, that's a weird-shaped one. Plus, my shower curtain was kind of folded, which is weird. It makes it not easy to see. Got some bumpage going on here, like so. That looks about right. There's another big one comes up here and then up here. Probably right there. I don't know. Who cares? Listen, this is your cactus. You made it. You just got a little represent. It's got one little doodad goes right there. Well, oh, it's a little one down there. Okay. It's perfect. Perfect. So now I'm just going to fill in the color in the lines. All right. That is all with that color here. So we shall throw him away. Hey, don't you hit that. Be careful. Let's do this one. Oh, you can't even see. What are you looking at? Why are you still down here? I'm trying to show you something. You need to pay attention. Gosh. So we're going to do uh, that one right there, which is up against here. All right. So this guy right here is going to be, he's got some uh, weird things going on as well. They all do. Cactuses are weird looking things. So it goes here. It goes kind of flat there and down let's fill him in right there and then he has oh ooh, look at this he's got one that's gonna come under there that's tricky that's cool let's make this one flatten out a little more here and this one going like so got another little he's got a growth up there i'm not sure what's going on with him all right so now we're gonna do one of these wild guys on the edge and he's got some stringers that go like so and technically, they'd be in black. He overlaps that, I guess, whatever. Just over, if it says overlap. Dude, what are you doing, little gnat? Get out of here. This is not your show. And so, about that, this yellow is not as dry as it could be. This one is not as easy as those little fat shaped jokers. Uh, I think I'm just gonna make it do my own thing. So I don't really like this one. Oh, when I say I don't like you, that's when you start flowing nicely, huh? All right, so my camera stopped, but he really, trust me, he didn't miss anything because this thing's hideous. I mean, it looks it's, it looks like it's supposed to, so whatever. For this one, what is this one? It's, oh, it's one of those two. No, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna make it like a little tall sticky thingy, maybe two or three. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. Make it like a little two leafer thing like that. That makes sense, doesn't it? Say yes. Okay, next we got this orange pot and he's a cool big one. He goes behind this guy. What? Why you do that? Oh, cause you wanna be complicated? Sure, okay, I gotcha. Say no more fam. That looks about right. Put him down, coming down right here. Remember, this is my world, now are yours. If you're drawing along with me, which I doubt it, you're the boss. You know what I'm saying? Let's turn this around here so I can get some anglage going on. That word? Probably not, but who cares? I think there's one here. And let's put a little doodad right here. I think that, I'll probably put another one of those little doodads here. Looks like they got one like so. And close it up, color it in. That's looking pretty nice. It looks kind of cactusy, because it is. So do another one of these here. And one of these here. Another one? Yeah, I guess so. And this one goes out here and then up here. Fat arm down. I try to draw what I see, but I'm not, not being too strict, you know? You gotta give yourself some leniency. Boom. Another cactus bites the dust. Cause it's in the desert and there's dust in the desert. You get it? Okay, carrying on, I'm going to do this color right here. It's just a regular green. Literally all the colors I have are almost completely wrong for this project, but hey, uh, I'm not really sure what this guy's got going on here. It's got some leafage, like a little You can kind of tell where I'm headed with this. There's the end and he's got one that goes here. So this one kind of hangs over the pot here. And then there's one way out here somehow. I don't know how he got there. 
but we're putting them. All right, there's a few more of these weird cactus. Well, they're not really cactus. I don't know what these last ones are, but they're not cactuses. So I'm just going to draw them in there real quick. Nothing fancy. I don't want them overlapping like they show in the picture. This one in the picture has got a lot going on. I mean, I'll, I'll do like a the general idea of the thing, you know, like this with the points and the weird looking shape thingies. Uh, there's one that goes out this way, actually goes the other way, but I'm making it go this way because I feel like it needs something going out this way. So that's what we're going to do. So, you know, it's my tumbler. I do it all. And that's what you should do. If it has something in there, you're like, gosh, I don't want to do that. Don't change it. That's where you have the creativity. What? What's it called? Creative license. Is that what it is? That's what it says on my driver's license, at least. Creative license. Booyah. I do what I want. Copper pulls me over. I whip out my creative license and say, boom. That makes no sense. I don't know. It's late at night while I'm making this. So, you know, it is what it is. Do you, do you want a video or not? Listen, we're just going to keep on doodling. I think I got one more left. How many? No, there's one there. Oh, I got to finish this. Bruh. You listen, guys. You got me sidetracked. What? I do a good enough job myself keeping myself sidetracked. So, but I was in the emperor's new groove today. So I just kept on going. You know what I mean? Sometimes that's what you got to do. Life is busy. And then when you get a chance to get moving and create, take that opportunity and bust it. You'll be worth it. Trust me. I don't want to show you this little trick. <clears throat> if your tip on your Poshka marker gets a little flat or ratty, look at that. See a nice new point right in there. Take it around, flip it around, do the hokey pokey and put that bad boy back in. Boom, you got a brand new pretty tip. Tip of the day for the tip. All right. Apparently I'm refusing to go sleep because it's been like an hour and a half. I don't waste it on the TikTok and I'm still going. So you know what? I'm just going to outline this bad boy. I don't even care because dude, just whatever. Just keep going. You feel like going? Go. Hey bedtime i know i should be going to bed but i don't feel like it i feel like keeping on going i don't even understand what's going on but i like it i feel motivated positive and it's late enough if i mess up i don't care i just draw the line a little fatter a little crookeder i don't care you know hey sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do just keep on keep on going and that's what i'm gonna do I'm just gonna outline this because i'm here it's sitting here looking at me while i'm looking at the tiktok and I'm ready, so. I know I gotta get up in the morning, take the kids to school, it don't matter. You know how good it feels to be getting some stuff done to work harder and more while people are sleeping and you know that you're getting stuff done that you need to get done, that you wanna get done, it feels good. It's empowering. That's what separates you from the regular Joe Blow that's sitting there snoozing. My goal is to get to a point where I can not only help people with their art, help people feel better, say they're having a bad day, they watch my video, they laugh, they might be motivated. That's my goal, is to help people, to encourage people. Look at that, that's cool. I thought those things were ugly when I did them, but now they're kind of growing on me. I like it. Either that, or I'm too tired to tell the difference, but I think I like them. Doing this upside down is pretty, uh, pretty good. I like it. Oh, I didn't even look at my picture. Oh yeah, they don't touch. Good, good. I knew that if they did, I could go back and uh, attach them. You can't hardly see that on the camera. Focus. Booyah. It's looking good. Well, I like that. I like that a lot. So while you're outlining, a good tip is to be very careful that you don't put your hand on the part you just markered is that a word i don't know flatten that bottom out get around there oh gosh it's so close to that handle boom wow that was a little tough i know you probably can't see it but i gotta be able to see it you can see it when i'm done see oh i got me some pottage going on sitting there this one has got some kind of uh design on the bottom so let's let's add that try to be kind of strategic about where you're putting your lines and 
where your hand is going to need to go. Does that make sense? I like this big tall one here. It's nice. nice. That's a happy little cactus. Wouldn't be happy if you pricked yourself on it. I have some different words to say about it then. But right now, he's a good guy. Put these little flowery things on there. I guess cactus is, looks like a crown. This cactus is wearing a crown. I just want to get on here, back on the old video for you guys. Show you some of my outlining. <laughs> I'll tell you this, when Eli used these markers on the Spongebob tumbler he did, uh, he had a problem when he was outlining. Maybe it wasn't dry enough or something, but I feel like it was a long time. But uh, when he'd outline it, it'd smear. So what I did, he got frustrated. I said, buddy, just chill, relax. I know a, a good old friend that can help solve all your problems. We threw a little couple coats of mate clear on there, gave a little time in between, and he outlined it and he said, oh man, that's amazing the difference that makes. That is so much better. Okay, I gotta look at this. Um, there's one that goes right here somewhere. Uh, let's say it goes like this, I don't remember. There's still a wet spot right there on that mug. It's smeared a little bit. See, see where it pulled off right there? All right, not sure what happened there with the old camera turning off but whatever it's fine don't worry i won't leave you so this one had a little pattern on it which is pretty cool it's kind of like a little crisscross and i like seeing the lines the strokes like if you're doing some painting some brush strokes it, it lets you know that it's handmade hand painted hand done imperfections are they're good in my opinion so you see like i got a little booby right there I'm not, who is going to nitpick that if they do hey tell them keep on moving this tumbler's not for you anyway this one's got holy cow it's got a this one's got like a uh, little dashes oh yeah i like that let's do that go in different directions who cares Oh, that looks, that is so cactus right there. Let's turn it this way. I like my hand likes to go this way better. Little, little pointy clicker flickers, whatever you call them. There we go. Look at that. My first one is completed. Oh, and this next one looks like it's got a bunch of little dots, like bunches, I mean like 50 million. Let's pretend I did them right now. Oh wow, you're a good pretender. And let's outline these little boogers. Let's turn this upside down. I like to do it this way. Draw the line, do some outline. Is that too close for you? Can you see that? You'd be like, hey, you got a line. Uh, okay, and what's the problem? There's no problem. It's okay. You don't have to stay in line. You follow your own rules. This is your painting. It's your creation. Don't let anybody tell you what they think it should look like. If you feel good about it and you're going along well, then there. Look at that. Those things are pretty cool. Just take your time. Enjoy the moment of what you're doing. You could be doing other stuff that's not fun, but you're here. You're making art, you're creating, and if it's not fun, you can't enjoy it. Probably don't need to be doing it. Or you just need to step back, get a different perspective, see how blessed you are to be able to do what you're doing at this very moment. A lot of people don't have choices. So this is a weird one. This one goes literally through the middle of these guys and then to here. And I'm not sure what this guy doing floating way out here. So I'm looking at it's right there. I'm not really sure what I did here. We're just gonna pretend it goes that way and this one goes this way. Makes sense to me. There. guy here he's got triangles all over him i don't know that i'm gonna do that they're very tiny on that picture can you see that yeah you can yeah what should i do for here should i do some triangles maybe i'll do a few let's go gotta think about it because one's upside down the other one's not um oh yeah this way not that it really matters it's just a pattern Nobody really cares what the pattern is on the vase. If you got it right, you might think it matters, but it doesn't. And I see that my phone is getting ready to die. So 
we might continue this later. I'm going to continue outlining these pots and the flyers and cactus, whatever you want to call it. I don't like that this is floating. I know it does that in the picture, but I don't like it. But I'm going to finish outlining these boogers. I don't know if you really want to see that. I mean, this video could be four hours long if you want to see all that. This one, it's got some squigglage in it. Just follow your reference and I'll come back and do the wood grain. Alrighty, we've got that done. It is actually the next day. I did go to sleep. Thank you very much. That is looking very cactusy and planty. I love, 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 love how this one came under the handle and then this one came under the handle too and they kind of crossed and it just makes it seem like such a seamless thing. I love that. Now, as you see in our uh, picture, it's blurry for you, but whatever, I can see it. Hey, just take my word for it. It is time to do the wood squiggles. And really, that's, a, that's exactly all it is. It's just squiggles. So always, always shake your pen, give a little pump, pump, and test it out. So basically, just for this, make some wood squiggles. Try to make it not as straight. Now you do need, well, they don't have it, but I think I'm gonna make one solid line from the bottom, because that makes sense to me. Make like a table, you know what I mean? I mean, just really, it just makes sense. It doesn't make sense. So, you know, you have the creative freedom to do stuff like that. And I feel like this line, which would be the top of the table, would be a little thicker. Oh, you can't see that. I'm trying to hold my knee up so you can see. There, all the way around, I got my table. Boom, now let's make it look like wood. And if you notice, you got a few of these new, not, what? Knots, uh, just put them wherever. So I'm just gonna kinda try to follow this. I got one under here, so it's basically just a circle and it's colored in really crappy. Oh, you didn't see that. So basically it's just a circle and you just cut, scribble it in uh, kinda crappily. Basically, that is really it. It kind of reminds me of a Charlie Brown cartoon, like start off with a circle and then just do like that. Boom, there's your knot. It's not, huh, it's not. The rocket's not a knot, get it? And I've seen one that's kind of like that. And then just put them here and there. And what that's going to do when you get your line to it, like let's start this line right here. So he's a wiggling, he's happy. And they're not solid, you know, they got some that do like this, go around here, but here. And then when you hit here, make a little burn, go around, boom, just like that and it doesn't have to be a solid consistent line just go and I see some touch and you can make sure you count for your leavage leaves Is that word? I don't know what's going on right here I must have a smudge there basically that's all you do you go give you a little self a little squiggles and I really don't think you need to see the whole thing in action and look, you see how that went? It's not perfect, but that is my favorite part so far because I love the interest that that creates just by doing like this, where you touch two lines together. And wood grains typically go straight, but in this, I feel like it's more interesting to kind of go against the rules. You're making the rules here. You're the boss. You the boss. There we go. I love the coming around the there. And then you don't even necessarily have to touch every one of them, you know? You just have some dash lines like this. I keep going down. My legs stand up, leg. Okay, I got me a little box to put my foot on. I don't know why that was so hard for me to figure out and do. I think I'm gonna put some, a dot and a curvy thing there. I don't know. Just makes sense to do that. I'm gonna make this one touch this. Make this turn it over. Turn around here. Oop, I'm double dot. That's fine. I like that. I'm gonna do a little wooba do there. That's an official wood grain terminology. If you work with wood very often, you would know the wooba do. Look, check this out. Watch this. I can just take and hold my pen straight. I'm wiggling a little bit on purpose because who wants the actual straight, straight line on a wood grain? Not me. Doesn't make sense to have straight wood grain oh i like doing that that's kind of cool and you, like i said i i got this here you don't have to watch it all some people do like to watch it all they like to get uh all that they can to see and i used to look those are those are too straight right there but i kind of like it i'm just gonna make this one touch this and then come back off uh some people like to watch the whole thing they're scared they're gonna miss something and they want to do it exactly like it i usually cut stuff like this out because i want to urge Orange, 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 year 
to try your own thing. Just go for it. Just do it, man or woman. Cause this in there, you got you got the ability. Come on, you're just scared, but you can do it. You can totally do it. I believe in you. Everybody watching this video with you believes in you. So we need some action in here. Let's do a let's do another little wood grain right here. So let's do a little dot 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 dot. Make it go around here. Touch there. Is it perfect? Is it like realistic? No, absolutely not. But who cares? Somebody's gonna tell you, well, that don't look like wood. And then you're gonna be like, well, how did you know I was trying to make it look like wood? Mm-hmm, apparently it does look like wood. Hello, where you at? You seen it, you know it's wood. Everybody knows. See, that's the thing. All we're doing, I need some, I like to fill in some more spots there, but really, I'm gonna cut it right here and I'm gonna clear this with the mate clear, eh? Of course, always. Uh, and you might wonder, is it always necessary every single time to me yes it is because i make my process as consistent as possible that way when something goes screwy i am able to eliminate some things being the issue so that's good all right i know i cut it kind of abruptly there i feel like i gave you enough information to be confident for you to go grab you some post markers and try them out if not then maybe Pushka markers aren't for you. I'm just saying. But look at this bad boy right here. Wow. I feel like I'm taking a shower again. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Look at that. Let me give you a little, little tour de cactus. Wow. The colors, like, they hold their vibrance under epoxy. If not, I believe it might even get a little brighter. There's that nice little mug to get you a little. Oh gosh, the prickly's got me. I'm just kidding. It's cactus. You, you get it. You know what I'm saying? I'd be proud of that in any campsite or in your corner. I don't know. Hey, give me a thumbs up if you've ever seen a cactus in real life. Cause you know, I was thinking about it and I'm not sure that I ever saw one in real life. At the store, that doesn't really count. You know what I'm saying? You gotta see it like in, in the wild, you know? So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you can catch all my videos. I do cool, different, funny, entertaining. Listen, you learn why you're being entertained. You don't even realize you're learning. I just slide it right in the under the funny stuff. So there you go. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out one of my other videos right here. For the record, I just want to say, I'm an idiot.